Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Today is episode 236, and what a beautiful day it is here in Perth, it WA. Is, Nice Beautiful. and sunny, very cold, but sunny. We're lucky. Yeah, we're cold in here. You've got the pants on today. I've yep, gone yep. shorts and socks, um, but we're all good. We're living. We're loving. Yeah, we are, bro, and we continue producing we episodes every week. This morning, you and I had a little look at the Trump and Biden debate. Oh, mate, I've got to watch it in full later because it looked entertaining, but from some of the clips I've seen, it just seems like chaos. And it's crazy that America have gotten to a stage where they've got Two blokes in their 80s. Crazy, bro. What, what's this obsession with leaders having to be old? I don't know. I guess they've... Pop they've, a 40-year-old in there, bro. Yeah, someone that's Let got him a bit have of a go. enthusiasm and... Just a bit, you know... Brings a new view to the world. 80s a bit far, bro. Especially when you see Retirement Biden... Retirement age is what, 67? Come on. Biden trying to string a few of these sentences I feel, together. I feel bad for him, bro. I don't know why they're putting him in these positions. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Like a crash test dummy. Come on, man. He's old. Let him be. That Let clip that we be. watched this morning of Biden stumbling over his words. And then Trump lets him know about it as he well. He does, bro. Trump in like a boys group chat would be a bit crazy. Yeah, he's definitely got that like schoolyard bully mentality. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. anything, bro, he just goes at you. He does. He, yeah. Even as I was pulling in today, I was like, wow, Trump's really just brought golf into it. Yeah. And he said... Oh, Biden, you can't even hit it 50 feet, 50 yards. It's like the conversations you have with like your mates or your brother when yeah. you're like trying to argue with them. Like, oh, you can't, you can't even kick the footy 40 metres, bro. Like, what are you talking about? That's so good. It's elite. You know who can't kick the footy 40 metres? Who? Rog. Yeah, I don't, that doesn't surprise me. He yeah. was never a big kick when I played with him. Uh, he always had good skills, but he couldn't kick the ball What's very he, a 30? Little legs. Oh, I reckon he can kick 38. I wonder who Rog would vote for. I feel like he'd vote Biden. Yeah, he'd, yeah. Triple but I don't J. think he'd want to vote. No, no, no. In no. this situation, like I don't think it's the the greatest um, lineup. You know what's interesting when you look at most countries around the world mm. and who's running for these like big roles, none of them are really ever liked. Bro, it doesn't. Bro, I don't get. It, it doesn't matter who wins, right? Because whoever wins, everyone complains. Yep. And then in hindsight, everyone complains. Yeah. So it really never matters who's the who's the leader because they always just get treated look like shit. And, and then people say like there'll be a leader from like 50 years ago that people go, yeah, he was good. So like hindsight plays a big role too. But then if that guy from 50 years ago was in today's world, Probably maybe he mauled, wouldn't, bro. Yeah, he wouldn't understand. And then like you look at the UK right now, they're going through a similar thing. Yeah, they all hate that. Uh, yep. What? Rishi Sunak. Yeah, they hate him, eh? Um, I don't know. There's they're just all like, oh, who, who let this rich guy in? Um, Fucking you. Yeah. Like, you all voted for him last time, did you not? It would be nicer if there know. was more, like, regular Joe people. Yeah. Not regular yeah. Joe, but regular people and that And maybe, could do like, it. I don't know a better way to figure out how to vote, and there, there obviously isn't because no, no one really has mm. one, but, yeah, obviously you just, you know, it's whoever wins. You might win 52% and you're in. It doesn't seem like that. Maybe you should have to be able to get to like a 75%. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Like, I don't know the better way to do it, but it seems like people are always unhappy yeah. and it never matters who's at the top. Things are always going wrong. Mm. And then yeah, it, the way I look at it as well is whoever's in charge. And obviously you have a team behind you that makes big decisions too. It's not 100%, all just you. Yeah. However, you can't fix every single issue the country has. Yeah. Let's say you've got your, is it four years mm -hmm. term? Let's say you do your four years and you fix, let's say, three major issues, yeah. but there's 50 major issues. Like, you're never going to get it right. And, like, there needs to be, again, I feel like most people aren't that involved with politics. Yeah. Maybe it's our fault we don't hold them as accountable or keep up to date like we should. True. But we also need to, like, whatever they promise when they're about to get in, mm. there's got to be, like, I need someone to keep up to date with them and yeah. let me know, have they hit this target? Like, at the end of it, you know, whether it's America, Australia, anyone, I wonder how many of their promises they keep in the four years. I reckon in general, it would be like 10%. It would, no, I feel like it would be literally like, it might be none in some. It seems 3%. like there's only new problems that arise. Yeah. I don't get it. I swear, bro, like it's, again, everyone's, people who know politics will be like, that's not how it works. But like, bro, see problem, fix problem mm. that day. Yeah. If we have a problem with editing, we fix that day, yeah. re-record, send it over. Yeah. You should see how much we can get done in a day, guys. <laughs> it can't be that. Like, 
housing crisis, build more. Yeah. I swear it's easy, bro. Because it does- Everyone's in debt anyway. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it seems like- there's unlimited money, but then there's always then there's these. There's always, oh, but we got to pay more. Trump made this point with Biden. He was saying that there's a reporter from the US who's been captured by the Russians and he's been gone for months, yeah, right? Yeah. And he was basically saying, I'll have him out it's the, like the minute that I'm in. Yeah. He said, I'll literally have him out. And apparently, like recently, Trump, sorry, recently Biden let out some people or like he, he saved them, but yeah. for six months. Billion. Yeah, bro, the money, yeah. Six yeah, billion. Yeah, yeah. Five Craig, people. Bro, six billion. I'm a, let's go take some people, bro. <laughs> Fucking six billion dollars, bro. I won't even hurt him. I, that, bro, Biden's giving ch- giving money out. Weekend no still. Yeah, what are you up bro. to? So, what am I? Tonight, just chilling, watch yep. the footy. Um, tomorrow night with Carly's family, we're going to go out because it's her birthday Monday. Yep. So happy birthday, Carly. Happy 24th. Beautiful stuff. We are going to do that on Saturday night. Uh, Sunday I'm working and that's it. Oh, no, and then, sorry, and then tomorrow in the day I've got um, granddad's birthday, 99th. That's incredible. So, yeah, we'll see. That 99 should be right. not out. 99 not out, bro. So we'll go to that. Um, yeah, decent weekend ahead. Letter um, from the king next year. Yeah, I know, bro. That'll be interesting. But um, – I'll try my best. To, obviously, Lockie has a thing tomorrow. We yeah. can talk about that, but um, because this will come out after, I'll see how Granddad's goes. Might pop in, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe I'll message you at three and see if he's still yeah. there. See how you're going. Definitely. So yeah, my weekend consists of the five aside best and fairest or players player night, which yep. um I've put some work into. I'm hosting that, which will be good fun. Um, just the boys are going to Andrew's place, and we'll enjoy that. Um, first night. So the night before, Dill Buckley leaves to Europe. Yeah, and then he's off, mate. Dalton's off soon as well. Yes. And then I think you're the next one that follows. Yes. And then, yeah, half then the group will off. be gone. So, no, it'll be good to see the boys. And then tomorrow, obviously, Lockie's a dad soon. He is. I think about seven, eight weeks yeah, away. This so is a great plan. Very exciting stuff. And, yeah, Lockie will be getting surprised tomorrow. As Dill said, um, he might be able to pop in. Yeah. But yeah, I'll See be the there to, to celebrate Lockie being a father, Uncle Neff becoming Dad Neff. Crazy, bro. It's going to be elite. And then tomorrow night, not sure what I'm doing yet. And then Sunday will just be editing yep, yep. and just the usual procedure. I like Sundays. It's a love-hate thing. It's like I don't really like the, the audio editing, yeah. but I can do it while watching the film. Yeah, it's a, yeah I know, it's, you have a routine. Yeah, exactly. I don't really want to work Sunday. I can't be bothered at all, but. A lot of good sport on that day too. Definitely. Now, Dil, before we started recording, we were talking a little bit about when money comes out of your account in yeah. the future. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So I'm talking about things like Afterpay. Yeah. What's the other one called? Starts with a K. Um, there's a few, Klarna, yeah, and yeah. there's a few more, yeah. Yeah. So I remember my first experience with Afterpay was on like a pair of shorts that were maybe like 80 bucks. Yeah. So you pay it in $20 yeah, installments. Yeah, yeah. And I remember maybe three months down the track and I saw it come out of my account and I was like, fuck's that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20 bucks, start, I'm getting scammed. You're starting to freak out. I'm getting pissed off. Yeah. I hate the feeling of something that I already own, I'm still paying for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like That's why, house. yeah, I've <laughs> never, yeah, bro, well, as we were talking about before, mortgages are frightening, bro. Yes. Like they, they're so scary. Yeah. I never want to encounter it unless I can contracts. just buy it at once, bro. Yeah. But yeah, there it's scary, bro. But again, as we were saying before, that's why I've never had a phone plan. Usually, mm. I just wait for someone to like you know if they get a fifteen, they'll give me the thirteen. Yeah. I bought this thirteen myself because you know thought I'd treat myself. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, phone plans they scare me, bro. Yeah, phone plans frighten me, and a mortgage is that just on a smaller scale. Thirty years, bro. Times yeah. fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> what? So yeah, like I don't think I've had a phone plan either. So I've just save up heaps, buy one, and then I'm like, oh, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the money out the account doesn't feel good, but it's one time only. Yeah. If you have to endure that four or five times, and look, this might get a bit of hate. I know a lot of people love Afterpay. Yeah, yeah. I've used it. I used to use it a bit, mm. but then I, I, pr- I haven't used it much recently. I remember once during COVID times, I bought a new TV, okay. $800, but then I just didn't have enough money to pay it, bro. So I just stopped. Oh, I was just like, oh, I don't, I was just like, oh, fuck them. I've got the TV. Like, but it, what, it, what ended up happening, bro, is they called me and they were like, oh, you can just give us like $10 a week. 
Oh, for forever. Or and then I, I don't. And then I think you know. Then my money started to come good. I don't think I was working at that time, but I thought it was so funny. I was like, I have a TV. Yeah, and, and you have, you've barely. By paid. the way, my credit rate. People say, "Oh, fuck your credit rating." You actually didn't. Mine's okay. pretty good. I've checked it. So all those fucking naysayers out there, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do in this world, really. Who cares? Yeah, that's like <laughs> the parking fines. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've still the only I'll pay him because Mum will get annoyed him if it's in her car. I'll pay him. Yeah, but yeah. if it's my car, bro, and it's certain ones, fuck them. Yeah, like rats, bro. We won't name the ones, but rat, bro. They, I've they, had some bad experiences. I know parking inspectors are doing their job, but yeah. If I'm at the car, have you had that before at the car? When the, have you have you seen him in action trying to ticket you? Yeah, so I've had two Fuck, that's two crazy. experiences. One of them, so I got to the car before him. I did a little speed walk, you know, the ass gets could, moving. Oh, you could see him. Yeah, like I could see him Rat. ticketing someone else's car, and then he was walking over, and I reckon I was maybe like ten minutes over, and I was thinking, come on, like ten minutes. Did he try to? Um, no. So because I got to the car first. Um, he came over and put his hand up and I just drove off. Yeah, no, that's completely valid. And then the other one I had to have a discussion. This one I was um, a little bit too late. It was probably like maybe 40 minutes over. I was in Frio and I got to my car. The ticket was there and then I saw him at another car and I went over and talked to him. I was like, hey, man, like I was like uh, 19 or something at the time, just uni student, and I was thinking – Come on, man. Like, I don't have much money. Like, I'm just trying to be a uni mm. student and all this stuff. Oh, you tried to play to his... Yeah. And he was like, ticket's done, mate. What a dog. Ticket's done. What if you just ripped it up right there? I don't him, know. Bro. Uh, my car got locked in the city one... This was only probably two months ago. Locked overnight. Oh, how? So, me, well, me and Carly went to the city, right? To, you know, we went to a bar. Mm-hmm. We thought, yeah, we'll go to a bar, maybe walk around. And then there were two signs, right? I, and... Both of us didn't see it. The one in front mm-hmm. said the opening times. And I thought, yeah, no worries. Then there was one behind it that said, oh, but on a Friday, it's going to close oh. at 11. I didn't see that one. There's two signs, right? And I had this discussion with the lady. I was like, yeah, but there's literally two different signs at this okay. entrance. So we come back and the parking garage is locked. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on right now, bro? Like, call them up. Oh, yeah, to get someone to come out, it's $150 and it's going to be an hour. And I thought, are you fucking joking? Then I see Wilson security car pop up. So I knock on his window. I'm like, hey, man, like, can I just pay you cash now? We'll just keep it between us. Then you open the gate. I get my car. He was going to do it, bro. He goes, oh, sorry. I only have access to the other side. Like, but doesn't connect. And I was like, oh, what? He was trying to be a good bloke. So I had to fucking Uber home, get dad to drop me off. But it ended up being way cheaper. I think if you click lost ticket, it's like 20 bucks. But it's still so frustrating, bro. Like. But I guess lesson learned, you know. But these parking spots, bro, that's something I'll ban if um I was Prime Minister. No more paid parking anywhere, bro. It's free parking everywhere? Free parking for the people, man, honestly. And I'll recoup the money like, I don't know, all the billionaires, bro, can just pay $1 extra each. Yeah. Yeah, you know, tax the, tax the finance guys a little bit more, bro. They make enough. Come on. Yeah, taking money off us. Let, let, the, let the people park where they want for free. Come on. That uh, that win an election, eh? Surely, right? Bro, if if there was a politician who said, my the only thing I'm doing, free parking, I would go, fucks. Yeah, probably well, why not? That's probably gonna impact me more than anything Everything's else. Everything's gone up, crime rate. At least I'd take homeless. Free parking. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your free parking. I want my free happy. parking, bro. Because if you think about it, those things are gonna keep going up yeah. and we still have to pay for parking. For sure. Fucking joke, bro. Theo Vaughn, mm-hmm. I think lately, you know, he's been great for a long time. We both love watching his podcasts, but recently I think he's taken that next level and yeah. they're elite, bro. Oh, he's incredible. I just, I've, I love listening to them. The Suicide Boys one, Ed Sheeran, unreal. The guests that he's been getting and the variety, that's the thing that I'm most and, impressed with. And it's ones that he, that match his show. And I also respect because in the Suicide Boys one, he was speaking about, um, he had the opportunity to get Will Smith on. Mm. But he, he decided not to because he couldn't have a proper conversation with him. There are only certain things they could talk Too about. Restrictions, there yeah. are a lot of restrictions. So I was like, damn, he's not just doing it. You know, he's not just getting on Will Smith. Mm. He wants the people to come on and, and relax and have a proper conversation. Got Ed Sheeran on there talking and about Eddie drugs bro. and stuff. Yeah, like, like you just get to see a different side. People seem to feel very comfortable with him. Yeah, and he yeah. gets so much emotion out of people and yeah. vulnerable stories that – you know, like if one of these guys go on to like Jimmy Fallon or something, you're yeah. not going to be 
revealing exactly. that stuff. And he's good at he's actually good at matching the other person. Yeah, their sort like of vibe or energy. and how deep they want to get, what they want to talk about. Like great podcasts, bro. So good. So yeah, guests. if you haven't listened, like he doesn't need any more listeners. But hey, go to Theo. This past weekend, Theo Von Elite Podcast. <laughs> Top liked comment on his post, and we got nothing for it. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds. Hey, Come maybe on, maybe they've taken note. And next time will be in their heads. Bro. Maybe they have. Maybe they have. But yeah, shout out to you guys for liking that. We've got a few things. Voices, confession. We've got a brilliant confession this week. We like, do. We're talking. We we requested some luxury, you know, stories, and we some of our rich listeners, and we've got that. And this is a, a bloke we know personally. Definitely a friend of the show. A great guy. Um, actually, we have an update from Rog. Oh, Roggles. So he goes, hmm. I have mm. nothing to report. Mm. Nothing to report. Well, there you go. Good update, dickhead. Thanks, Rog. We will actually... Oh, no, we won't. I was going to say, next episode, we might have our night out with him. That'll be the one after. Yes. We're also filming two episodes next week because we're trying to get ready for Europe. Yeah, so we're, this the guest one we film will probably not come out. It'll come out in whatever, yeah, maybe a yeah. month or something, but it's going to be a good one. We're going to have a few backed up, ready to go. Yeah. And in the lead up to deal leaving for Europe, we'll be doing a couple of those just yeah, to, yeah. to get sorted. We're going to bank some of those uh-huh. so they'll be ready to go. And then once I'm sort of back and Jamo's on his run, we'll have a lot of the ones from London ready to go. So A couple oh. from London are uh, exciting. Good, We've got Old Mate. Yes. We, yes, might be doing, be we might be doing a swap there. Yeah. Right. And then we've also got... We're very busy at the moment. Yeah. So we'll see how we go. You know, we understand schedules change, but it should be fun, bro. Yeah. It's going to be a... That'll be the hardest thing is trying to... Fit everyone in. Fit everyone in, but also enjoy our time there. Yeah. But also... We're good at balancing. Get the work done that we need to. And then we'll obviously, you know, we'll do our best to sprinkle in a few of like just normal ones where Mm. we're over the internet. We'll be able to get those looking pretty good, I reckon. We did it last time. So it'll be a fun time. I think you guys will enjoy the guests coming on. I know sometimes the fans don't love them. We like doing them a lot. But the ones we have coming, the one we've got locked in is going to be elite, like proper proper business talk, bro. I'm excited for that one. Me too. All right, moving into voice messages. Do it. We hope you're enjoying the Jammo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jamo and Dylan on Instagram. All right, big contributor, always sending stuff into the show. Yeah. She's come to form lately too. She has. G'day, boys. Hope we're doing well today. I just want to know your opinion or what you would do in this situation. So I'll set the scene. You're in your car, you stopped at a traffic light, busy intersection. Homeless man comes at you with his spray or bucket and his thing to clean and wipe down the windscreen. What do you do to stop them from doing it? Because every single fucking time on my way to work, they come at me and they make it worse. They make my windscreen worse and I'm over it. I get nervous. I don't know what to do. I've tried the no thank you wave. I've tried ignoring them. I, I've tried even looking at things in my bag to pretend I don't see them. Nothing works and I'm over it. So what do you do? I just need to know. And as always, keep up the good work. It's you know, tough. You can point at them, look them in the eyes, and say "fuck off." Yeah, I just, I just do the. I agree. The real cracky ones yeah. will just do it. Yeah, they don't give a fuck, and they'll. And then, uh, do you know what I think? Thanks for the free clean. I'm not giving you anything, bro. Yeah, but also, I am siding with her as well in the fact that sometimes they do it and they make it foggy and yucky. Yeah, because they're using yucky liquid, bro. Yeah. Because. They might be doing it where there's no petrol station nearby and they're using shitty water Imagine all day. one time like he just stopped, but it was pristine and you're like, oh shit, like this is... I feel like I've had a couple of good ones. You but throw him a buck? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. If I have it, but I don't operate in cash anymore. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like I don't have much floating around, so... Yeah. Surely some of these guys have just thrown like shit onto someone's windscreen 100. or something. I wonder how much money they make in a day too. Like are they making 10 vary. bucks? Or do you reckon they probably get – like I have seen people hand them a fiver, a 10. Like, Imagine a $50 note. That's a yucky like, day made. Bro, you got to do it around like um, like Claremont or something. Yeah, bro, you, you hype – oh, they probably kick you out of Or there. just run you over. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean they're out there hustling. But, yeah, how do you get them – so I don't have that issue too much where you say no and then they keep Neither, going. Neither, I don't get that. But maybe because she's a girl, they're a bit more overbearing with yeah. it. I don't know. Horrible, hey? Which is sad. Should I do this one one and a half? It's a bit long. Yeah, we'll speed this one up a yeah. little bit. 
Hey guys, just uh, listening to uh, today's set, uh, and just got a bit about PDA. And I've, yeah, I'm not a fan of it at all. Holding hands is good enough. Little kiss on the head or little slap in the bum is my limit. Like that's all. That's all my girlfriend gets in public. But I, when I'm at the gym, there's this one couple, and they infuriate me. Like, oh, like I'm just trying to. Like they want a machine, I want to use it, and I'm waiting. But I have to wait even longer because they're smooching, they're cuddling, they're like. I feel like I'm, I've, I've, I'm like, in in their private life. Like they're just sat on like a, on a machine. Boyfriend will finish his set, he'll get up and he'll hug her and he'll stand up hugging for like 30 seconds or he's like slapping kisses on her head. And for me that's just too much. Like like I said, I don't mind a little kiss on the head or something or a little quick peck, but in the gym it's a time and a place. And there's been times where he stood up and he's like played with her lips, like with his oh, fingers. Oh, you know, nah. Like, nah. Nah. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. My Sorry, like, but yeah, like, he's playing with her lips like... And I'm just kind of like throwing up in my mouth. Because I think there's, it's, there's no place like, no no place for it in like a gym when it's a public setting. Like you go there to kind of work out, and you get out, and you're done. But they, these guys are kissing, they're cuddling, they walk all like, around the gym with their hands like locked. Like I've never seen them walk around without holding hands. And I just think like, bro, just let go of her for a bit. Like she's not going to go anywhere. And I just think it's personally a bit like way too much, and it really pisses me off. But maybe that's just me being a bit, I don't know, like a, a bit like a sorry cunt. But I just yeah, I don't like it. Let me know your thoughts. Keep it going, smashing it. Uh, listen to the first episode of Sports Poly. I know nothing about uh, Aussie football, so it'd be good to learn. Like I know it's pretty good, pretty big, big over there. So I'd love to learn more about that. Keep smashing it, and see you later. Love that message. Thank and you, brother. Look, I'm on board with him. I agree. They're they're taking it way too far if they're holding hands and playing with the lips, bro. Nah, bro, you can't be doing that in the gym. It's disgusting. And there's bro. a few like roid heads who would just smack you if they saw that. You know? Yeah, yeah. They're there to work out, boy. So it's only a matter of time before they get found out. Who did, speaking of the sports potty, I yes. swear, we've been asked a few times, I swear Dan, did Dan say it? He wa- they want us to compare footy teams. Yes, to Premier League to teams. Premier, and I, we forgot to do it last week. Yeah, actually. so we I can maybe to, do that next I week. I wanted to do that for Dan. Yeah, and someone else asked as well. Yeah, the few have been asking. Um, some of them did bad comparisons, so that we do need to yes, clear it up. Yeah, we do need to clear it up, because some of them are not. Someone said Man United Frio. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, it's yeah. not. They're, too, they're, not, they're not similar. No, in any way. Yeah, are some of them, there are some that are going to fit nicely. Mm. My others might be a bit of a reach. Well, let's but just do one. So Collingwood, one of the biggest clubs in the AFL. Collingwood, they've had a bit of success recently. And they've got the history too. So who do we go? Like a, oh, is Liverpool? It has to be a big, big team. Are we just keeping it Prem? Yeah. I don't think it's City because they're new, too new maybe. Yeah, but yeah. they are the best current. Yeah. It could be Liverpool. See, man, you haven't had the success recently. No, they haven't. But they've, they kind of match each other with the history. I don't know either. Maybe Liverpool. I don't know. Yeah. We've got some feral fans. I'll tell you that, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Anyway, let's move into the courtroom and we'll settle that debate yes, yes. on the sports podcast. You're about to enter the courtroom of Jamo and Dylan. The people are real. The cases are real. And the rulings are final. This is Jamo and Dylan's courtroom. All right. Now, this is a follow-up from last follow week. Follow-up with a bit of a Now, we had a story too. from last week, and then I'll, I'll just go from what this girl sent in. So, yep, she yep. didn't send in the story, but she was the one involved. Yeah, this was about the uh, cousin who was sleeping on the floor for a while. Mm-hmm. The boyfriend sent this in of this girl, and the cousin brought home a girl they, who was her friend. They got it on. Yeah. Caused some issues. Hello, my boyfriend has just informed me that our story made it on your podcast. I'm the cousin and girlfriend. Good news, my cousin is off the bedroom floor after six long weeks and living with his parents. Just wanted to say thank you for validating my feelings. My cousin and boyfriend seem to think I made the situation much bigger than it needed to be. And thank you for making light of a very odd situation. In case you wanted an update, we are all friends again and my cousin and best friend are no longer in contact. There we go. I said, awesome, sounds good. Thanks for getting involved. We appreciate the story and hope you're well. Great message. We're good at that, aren't we? And then... All in capitals. Yesterday, 8pm. The plot thickens. My boyfriend who sent the story of my cousin bonking my best friend cheated on me with his best friend's girlfriend while his best mate was in bed. So now I have a court case for you. It's crazy that she's she sent that in. Her account is public, bro. We mm-hmm. can look at him. What? Do I take him back or am I in the wrong or right for considering to take him back? Okay, in my opinion, mm-hmm. he's a rat because yep. he couldn't keep a secret, bro. He yep. dobbed as soon as he could. He cheated on you, so he dogged you, and it's his best friend's girl. The bloke's got no no loyalty to anyone, bro. Why has she even asked bro, if she would take him bro, back? This guy's not loyal to his girl. Yep. To his mate. No. Or to like even his like his girl's family. Yeah. He he sucks. Yeah. This guy's got no loyalty, bro. 
Was he the what? one that sent it in? He sent it so in. So we know him. We know we know him, bro. <laughs> so this guy, this guy. Wow. Damn, they were I've got it. I found him, bro. Has he sent in much yeah. before? No, nah, that was... A, oh, sort of. So this guy sent in the story about his girlfriend's cousin bringing home a girl mm-hmm. who happened to be his girlfriend's best friend. They yep. slept together and he wasn't sure whether to tell the missus or not. So... He's probably done the right thing there, but he's still a rat, bro. He still didn't let him, you know, do their thing. He told on him as soon as he could, told us. Now he's cheating on his missus with his best friend. This is the last friend. the last week he ever listens. Imagine if he listens to this, comes back. They're still in each other, like she's still in the bro, I think she's gonna stay with him. Cause look, that they've still got all the photos up, but they just haven't got the tags and stuff there. Her whole profile is basically him. Oh no. One year with you. 2020. So they've been together for a year and a half now. Yeah. Oh. She adores him. Oh. Bro, look at that. I feel sorry for oh, her. She's so, she looks like a nice person. Oh. He's never looking at her in any of these pics, is he? Oh, that's what he was doing to the other girl, boy. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, bro. No, don't bending it, bending it you always backwards, do that. Bro. Whenever you say something like funny, you're oh, like, yeah, boy. shit. <laughs> so everyone That's was, fucked. oh, we feel so sorry for her. Imagine if he comes back and goes, she's fucking lying. Yeah, she's making me look bad. Dad, this is, this is an intense one. This is kind of, this is taking some form, bro. Yeah. It's like, you know how they say, oh, when the, the snowball rolls down the yeah, hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Game this is, is a snowball effect. Wow. It's a snow boulder. I remember there used to be a little mini clip game, yeah. snowball down the hill, and you used to build it up. Love mini clip so much. <sighs> but yeah, I feel so sorry for her if it's true. Yeah. Well, it must be, right? I, I, I like that hear, she told us. Yeah, so, same. But I want to hear both point of views. Send in who's punching, guys. My <laughs> Lord. Actually, can we ask, how did you find out that he cheated? And... What's your decision? I'll say. Active t- she's probably going to reply soon. I'll say, we think you shouldn't. She's seen it. And say out, we've just, um, we're on the body live. Our, it'll come out Monday. This is crazy. This is crazy. Damn, this episode's really taking some shape, bro. And we've still got the best story yet to come. I want to know more information. Oh, he, he told, told me. Damn, so he came clean. Okay. It is, oh, no. Hello, we're actually live on the podcast right now. We are live right now. Um, currently recording. Obviously, I'll cut out your name. Like your name won't be involved, and his name won't be involved either. Um, but we just want to know a bit more. So you've said, okay, he was, and he's very remorseful, remorseful and very out of character. It's not out of character, no, because he's not loyal to anyone. Yeah, like as the story that he sent in, we noticed that you know. He couldn't he, wait to dob. Yeah. <laughs> not loyal to his best mate. Dobby. Not, lo- not loyal to you. I've decided. She's not decided yet. Oh. The update that this girl has just sent us, she goes, he told me. So he has told her that he cheated. It's out of character for him. It's He's not. very remorseful. I promise you it's not. This is what cheaters do. They cheat on you and then they go, I'm so sorry. Look like I didn't, yeah, on all fours, begging. Feeling sorry for himself. Barking. What about his, I hope his, I hope his mate jumps him, bro. <laughs> bro, imagine, imagine the boys belt him. No. Oh. Can we ask how, he's, ask how his friend re- has reacted too? After two years, he's been nothing but perfect. I don't know about that. This is a pretty, this is a big imperfection. Now what? This is like this is like your car's been good for two years and the engine fucking blows <laughs> up, bro. Then you'd look back and go, that car's a shitbox. Yeah. Only lasted two years. I have to be anonymous. Ha, ha, you, yeah, fair. Um, yeah, fair enough. No, we completely understand. We were just probably, saying- He's probably going to know this story though, just oh, so yeah, you know. Definitely. I mean, um, you've gone in depth and I guess you're both involved with the podcast You now, guys should do so. a viewing party. Yeah. No, actually, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Also, can you tell us how the um his best friend has responded? Has mm-hmm. there been any contact with him? Have you had contact with her? You know, the other cheating partner yes. too. Let us know. Hey brother, you're a fan, so we still take you on, but <laughs> yeah, my boy. God, bro. Like you're not as guilty as you could be if you didn't listen, you know? Yeah, like yeah, we would have yeah, gone yeah. in harder if you weren't a fan. I'll I'll put I'll sentence you, you go to a nice prison. 
Oh, it won't yeah. be too bad, bro. Like you might, you might, you got to get in two fights. You got to prove yourself. But oh, okay. She goes. I want him to know. Uh, oh, so this is a good. This yeah, is a good okay. coping mechanism. It is a good coping. This is therapy. You reckon the friend's gonna hit her up now? Do that double down, nah, nah, bro. Surely not. Do that backtrack. I mean, for our sake, it would make the story better. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. So we won't say don't do it. This is unreal. Unfortunate. Mm. Extremely unfortunate. I want to know the cir- like what were the circumstances to him cheating? Are we talking night out? Are we talking? Should we? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're well, sorry. We don't want to like delve into it too much, but yeah, Dill was just wanting to ask. What are the circumstances? Was it was it a night out gone wrong? Was there drink involved? Was it was it midday? Mm. You know, midday on a Wednesday, I think hurts more than a drunk Saturday night. I don't know. They're all as bad. What's happened? Yeah. Because if he bro, if he's gone over on a Tuesday at eleven a.m. His best friend has forgiven him because the girlfriend... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, okay. She's gone crazy now. His best friend has forgiven him because the girlfriend is a... Put nicely. And then... She goes, I want to delve in. So she wants... Oh, his best friend forgiven him, bro. How's that happened? Who is wait, wait, wait. this so, fucking guy? So did he... So he betrayed his best, best friend... friend. So he slept with his best friend's girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, that's even crazier. For fun on a Tuesday morning. Yeah. But won't be getting a beer with him, bro. No, no. Fucking hell. Just going to the toilet, mate. Carly, come with. <laughs> this guy's going to fucking pounce on you, son. <laughs> Slip something in the drink, bro. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, but look. Unbelievable. We had, this is the, the way I look at it from a business point of view, right? We have one listener in the man. Yeah, right? and one in the girl. Now we have two. Facts. She wasn't a listener before. They should this. do a viewing party with all of them. I bet you we could heal the situation. So they were at two different birthdays. They both went out. He stayed with his mate in. So yeah. No, no, no. Wait, so they what? were at two different birthdays, right? They were both out. She said, "Stay at your mate's house. I don't want to wait up for you." Yep. So he stayed at the mate's house. They were. Everyone was drunk. He stayed there in their bed. Nah, that's weird, bro. They had a threesome. Nah, hang on. They all slept in the same bed and the boyfriend was in the middle. And she goes, it's did not... He fu- a- did he fuck his mate? She goes, it's not out of the norm. Um, no, there's more to this story, bro. She's not being told something. It's not out of the norm. The boyfriend was in the middle. I'm getting two different sides of the story. Apparently, she climbed over the boyfriend. But he fucked his mate too. <laughs> To get to my boy. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't, no, no, I, no, no. I don't believe this anymore. No, no, no. He, bro, that was a threesome planned. She's climbed over the body, she reckons. No, no, that's a planned threesome right there, bro. Just ask her yeah. if she's considered that. That, to me, is clearly a planned threesome. I think some things have gone on with him and his boy as well because he's so, you know, happy to forgive him. Um, that's a threesome. Saturday night, both drunk. Yeah, that's no excuse, unfortunately. Wow. Story of the year. She's, Story of the year. She's getting premium service from us, though. She like, is. But to be fair, not many people are active while we're doing the podcast because yeah. they're working. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay, so she's about to reply back. Would be better if it was voice messages. Op, it's we're doing a good job of covering this, bro. We should be covering elections. Imagine us covering, we're like on CNN, bro, covering Trump Biden. You know what's really interesting about this, though, is that she goes, no, because like it's supposed to be anonymous. He'll hear like, okay, he knows it's you. This is extremely specific. And you're sending paragraphs. This applies to one person in the world. You said you want him to know. And now you're like, what's the difference? Mm, I don't know. Nah. So that, no. This is, a, this is a set play. This is a set play. The other boyfriend is distraught with his girlfriend and had no idea I made my boyfriend call him and tell him what had happened. She goes, so-and-so, you call your best friend now and you say what you did. Jack. And then he's on the other she end going, on me. yeah, I was there, I was involved. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Just acting like they're all acting now. They're all acting, bro. Sick people. I guess look, it would be it, good to see in a week what's what's happened. Yeah, we'll come back to it. This should run for the next month. Technically. Okay, let's send her a voice message. Was saying, oh, what? <gasps> she's just sent my voice message. Thirty-two, but I don't seconds. know if we can use it. I'll I'm, play it anyway. It can be cut. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently, she initiated it, so that's why I'm like, do I? But she is also telling me 
he initiated it. Like I'm getting two completely different sides of the story here and I do know do not know what to believe. Like yeah, it's hectic. I'm just confused whether I should go back to him and think that he wouldn't do this again <laughs> because it was so out of character. But I've got to have my wits about me. You gullible gal. Crazy, bro. Okay. This guy's a master manipulator. He's literally gone, no, I, I cheated on you, but in my, in all fairness, she she did it to me. Like My character? My, my, this is out of my character. <laughs> <laughs> what she, a she literally idiot. she mounted her boyfriend, climbed over, and then we did it discreetly. Trust Babe, is me. this like me? Tell me. In the two years, I love you. Yeah, it's you know what happens when I have whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why didn't you want to wait up for me, huh? You made me sleep there. What did you think was happening? Now, my advice to this girl, I'm going to say it right now. All right, we're still live on the podcast. If you don't want that message there on the show, let us know. We can get rid of it, but do not go back. Okay, at now, least give it time. Yeah, because time. Don't go back and dive in because that's what your heart like. You feel like your heart's missing him. I would say it's not out of character. I'd say he's showing character right oh, now. I this like is that. who he is. You're a fucking prophet. Yeah, bro. Woo. Yeah, showing character. But keep us updated throughout the week so we can then update it next week. Mm. This will all be on this Monday's upcoming episode yeah, yeah. but yeah keep us updated but yeah like as you were saying how he's shown character yeah shown his true colors maybe you won't see those true colors for we've done some research what's it been a year and a half yeah. around about those those but areas what about in three years time when he goes to bali huh mm. what's he gonna do yeah i wouldn't invite him over for dinner yeah dude just you? said he wouldn't invite him over for dinner what are you jamming like, invite him over for dinner no way that's, no a, that's way. a risk no panned over no beers for you son we know what's gonna happen yes a few drinks and you, you'll, you'll get be tipsy. in my fucking bed won't you son <laughs> weirdo that's a double bed two people son oh well we've just sent those over you know what let's get on to the confessions now and we'll come back to that to finish the episode but we still got we've oh. Oh, she said, no, it's fine. So we've, we we can put that voice We've genuinely in. still got a massive confession too to come. We do. How are we going for charge on... 43%. Okay. And then this is... That's got enough too. All right. We're cooking. We're cooking. All right. Um, I'm not even going to play the confession. Let's just get thing. into it. This is from a, a person that we know. Yep. He's a great guy. He um, and he sent us in a rich story. Let's yeah. hear it. And we, we have met him in person before. Love, no, amazing beautiful boy. We love him. Being. Yeah, we love All him. Right. And he started off with this deal. The title that he sent, $10 million is pocket change. Oh, yeah, it is. Incredible. Not for us, but anyway. You asked for wealthy stories and I have a juicy one for you about the top 1%. I grew up comfortable. My father grew a big business and the sale was public to the degree that it caused issues at school. That's sad, bro. Which was him being picked on. My parents sent me away to a boarding school in Switzerland, which today is considered the most expensive boarding school in the entire world. When I say we were comfortable, to use examples, I may have flown to school business class or even first class. I want you to know that our family's wealth had nothing on the other peers' families. I would suggest we were the poorest. By not 10, but hundreds of millions. Fuck. Old pauper over here. We have a big update from the other story, (laughs) just quietly. (laughs) All right, all right. Okay, but we'll go on to that after. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Other students didn't fly first class. They had their own family plane. Yeah. They, would, they wouldn't they would Uber from school to the Geneva airport. They had their full-time bodyguard slash driver to drive to school in a Rolls Royce to chauffeur Ooh, them down. In the roller. Most families were royalty and some of the world's biggest companies. Um, a reason for bringing this up is that it was common knowledge to never ask others what their parents did, which I found odd because my family made their money 100% legitimately. Not a lot. Some don't, bro. He says, in hindsight, it doesn't take an expert to understand why. Um, one crazy story of many. I had a friend from Russia who one time showed me their Victorian driver's license from Australia with a different name and date of birth. No, wow. they're not Australian and have never even been there. It was fake, but it looked identical to mine. It was crazy. There were times where we would go to a city in Europe for a weekend like Paris and I would share a room with a mate at a nice airport. 16, bro. And you know what I like about this fucking message? Grammar elite. That's because he went to a proper school, bro. A real school. Not your local bum school. Money is good, bro. I need all of it. I would walk in. He would be so grateful. So I would walk in and I would be so grateful. 
He walked in, said he wanted more space and wanted to upgrade. Oh, yep. I told him I don't have the money to do so. He laughed and told me, you don't want to upgrade. I do. It's on me. (laughs) Yeah. I I need friends like that. He upgraded us to the presidential suite worth 10,000 euros per night. It was nuts. All in all, people may think these places turn these kids into nightmares. I do want to strongly preface that these kids are the most kind, down-to-earth people you'll ever meet. They couldn't control their upbringing. They are only acting within the rules that they were taught growing up, but far better humans than my previous school. You know, and we can attest to that because we've met him yep. and he's unbelievable. Yeah. And he sent us an example of a girl I'm assuming he went to school with is the vibe I I'm think getting. so, yeah. So rich girl who was on a few shows on yeah. Netflix. And then he continued with a little bit more, which is yeah. interesting too. Okay, wait, sorry. Regarding your comment on rich kids doing whatever work they want because they're chilling, you'd be surprised. At times it's a stress on you that many people don't understand and perhaps can't understand. Mm. I can understand it from a point that I've never been in it, but I can think that like because your parents are so rich, you'd feel pressured to also- You have to equal it or do better. Yeah. Um, So this was him. My expectation, creating my own success in my business without any help financially, which is why I started so-and-so. Um, you guys might observe me and say I'm doing well for my age, but I have a brick on my shoulder every day with comparisons. It's hard to describe, but I honestly love the company nine to five. Some days, sorry, I love my company, but nine to five some days sounds pretty fucking good. Oh, so he does more than the yeah. nine to five. So it's all about, as I said to him, perspective, bro. Yeah. Really? Wow. But he basically says he's a lucky boy. He has started a business. We know about it. It's yeah. doing very, very, very well. And we want to congratulate him for that. Um, yeah. And yeah, he's doing very well. We're proud of him. Yeah. He's a stand-up citizen and he supports the show. So we respect He'll him be a lot. And friend. no matter like for the the regular Joes, like if he took 100% of Australia, like if he took all the people our age, he'd be in the top 1% regardless of his family. 100%. That his yeah, drive he's, and what he's done is And he's is just remarkable. caring, bro. Yeah. Definitely. All right, I'll read this last one, then we'll go back. Okay, yeah. To I'll go back to the other one while you're doing that. Um, so this is the guy who we had the story about the Chinese man rolling in with uh, two Bentleys and a McLaren. Yeah. His dad uh, has a very successful business too. Just heard the potty and thought I'd tell you some more because you sound like you wanted to know. Yes. I drive trucks for my dad's business while I study at uni. Beautiful. Another thing that happened. One of my dad's business partners paid for my dad to go on a three-month holiday around three continents in the uh, last year. Europe, Asia, America. I want that. In my dad's world, they often go on holidays for business to build relationships with other people in the industry. Relations? Unfortunately, only him and my mum get to go. Oh. So he's not getting the same level of money that yeah. our mate is. But, um, yeah, just crazy. Still bro. doing well. Still doing well. Hope he enjoys driving. This it? is an all-time episode. Yeah, it 236? is. 236? 236. Remember it, honestly. Now we have the update. We've gone back to the court case. Now we're going back case. to the court case with the cheater. For those watching, we have the, the gavel. <sighs> We've entered again to Let's it. hear All it. Right. What a story. She goes, no, it's fine. You can play the voice message. Funny you say that about Bali. He's booked a seven-week holiday over Christmas and New Year's. He's, he's fucking bro. Seven-week holiday. Who the fuck? Seven weeks? Wait, without her? I would assume so because what? they're no longer together. All right. Then she goes, I must admit I've never been a podcast listener until my boyfriend showed me what he sent in. Now I'm a huge fan. I feel like we're best friends after this series of events. Might even need to start up my own podcast about my own life. Go for it. What I do suggest, and again, we're going to shout out the guy who's done the bad things purely because he's a listener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, looking at her- He's a naughty boy. Her, pro- <laughs> her profile here, it's virtually all him. I know. She's going to have to take a lot more photos, bro. Yeah, definitely. But look- Can we ask if the seven-week holiday is, I'm assuming, without him? You definitely can. Ready? Was this seven-week holiday um, booked without you? Who's he meant to be going with and where's he going? And they always say, like, grass is always greener or the grass is never as green as it may seem. Mm. However, in this case, looks pretty fucking green to me. Yeah, facts, bro. And the grass is greener. The current over grass looks shit, bro. Yeah, it's it not looks watered. Like, yeah, it looks like them dry Australian streets. It's mm. like yellow. Bro, it looks know. like Optus Stadium at the yeah. moment. Yeah, ooh, my God. Disgraceful, cool. man. She's typing at the moment. Disgrace what they're doing to a beautiful stadium. Yes. Honestly, giving us a bad name, bro. Those Gorgeous groundsmen. stadium. 
I know they're doing their job. They just got to do better, man. Hurry up with the time. Come on, come, come on, on, love. Come on. We don't have all day. Finish the show strong. Send us come something on. good. Let Give me us know about the juicy. holiday. With two of his mates all over Southeast Asia, and he told me the night nah. he booked the tickets. So he's booked the tickets. It goes. Guess he what goes, I'm doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm going for seven, seven weeks. Seven weeks Southeast, Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia. Gonna be sick. Jack and fucking Jim. <laughs> Jack and fucking Jim. Jack, Jim, and Jack. <laughs> 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 oh, Triple J. Triple J's, yeah. bro. The J's. Rog's probably going too. Bunch of rats. Ah, well. You'll get over it. In yeah, a year, you'll, get you'll look it. back and It'll laugh. Anyway, or you'll still be with him. I oh, actually. All right, we're just about to finish the show right now. Do you have any last words? Because obviously he'll listen to this. Do you want to send him a subliminal message that he'll receive on Monday? Yes, yes I, I would, would love, love to. to. Oh. This is unreal, bro. I like this. This episode deserves ten thousand listens. Yeah, and it won't. No, nah. everyone tell. I, I hope everyone you can tell, tell their everyone. friends about this. This is un, like unheard of. This is a great story. This um, is an all timer. This is a top ten, bro. With ease, oh. do you reckon she's sending a voice message or a typing? I don't know. Especially because you can hear the pain or the happiness or the anger, the emotions of the voice. It's quite a special thing to hear. So hopefully, is, man. I reckon this will just be text. Yeah, she's typing away. Because I'm sure at the moment she's playing um, that card of, oh, I don't really want to talk to you at the moment because of what you've done. Yep. So this is her way of sending the message. Fair enough. And unfortunately, like, look, we just talk about what we get sent in, right? If we think it's a value, entertainment value, we'll probably use it. Yeah. We might have burnt a bridge with one of our fans here, but we've gained another. It's a yeah, one for one. Wrong. It's a it's a straight swap, bro. <laughs> he might love it. <laughs> Maybe. Because we've done this before. Yep. He would have giggled and giggled. Yes. But now that he's in that he's in the, he's in the, the driver's seat. seat. Yeah. yeah. Hot seat getting questioned. Imagine he hits back. Here we go. Oh no. I'm about to cry. I've no. just seen the first three <laughs> words. No. no. Okay, just read it, Jamo. Oh, <gasps> No, deal, deal, deal. I just read further down. Deal. You ready? I'm Has this ever happened on a podcast ever? Okay, you ready? No, this is crazy. This is like- This might have to be its own YouTube clip. This is Jerry Springer. You ready? All right. So this is from the girl who's just been cheated on to her boyfriend. So to her ex-boyfriend. Okay. I love you very much. I hope we can work through this, but remember, as the boys said, you are punching, and me and you are lucky the boys don't know how clapped your mistress is. You also have some serious making up to do. She's going to take him back, bro. He's going to buy her flowers and Kinder Surprise and be back in the good books. <laughs> I love you very much. I hope we can work through this, but remember, as the boys said, you're punching with you're punching with me, and you're lucky the boys don't know how clapped your mistress is. Yeah, okay. You also have some serious making up to do. Wow. She's given her a title, the mistress. <laughs> <laughs> what a story. What a way to end the episode. And look. I'm shocked. If that's not a good enough reason to come back and listen to next week's episode. Nothing will be. I don't know what is. Nothing more that we can possibly do. Insane. Bro. That was elite. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and the saga will hopefully continue for our sake. Baffled. Bye-bye and we'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.